Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of the Cold War mod as Yugoslavia. So it's uh, May 23rd, 1949. Uh, how are we going to be starting off here with GDP of $45 billion? Which, I mean, it, it seems pretty okay. I'm not too sure where that puts us in the, um, the grander scheme of the world. I don't know if we can actually see that in here. I don't, I don't believe so. But, you know, we're, make, we're making decent money. We're making one billion per month, I believe. Spending 18.2. We're earning 22.28. We're spending a little bit more on... Wait, okay, 22 minus 18 does not equal 1. This this might get changed a little bit as we go on here. Hello, Virion. So, the Crusader problem. During the late stage of World War II, the so-called state of Croatia and their fascist masters in Berlin established bands of guerrilla fighters called Crusaders to operate against our liberating forces. Many of the commanders and men are former members of the fascist regime, and although they did not do much de uh, during the war, they have recently activated. The Crusaders are trying to garner support, especially among anti-revolutionary forces, Croatian nationalists, Catholics, to re-establish their illegal regime. They accuse of being oppressors and anti-Croatian, however, we will show them that their ideology and claims have no effect on our people. We continue to support the government and our revolution. All people of Yugoslavia, especially the Croatians, recognize the vile lies being spread by the Crusaders. We get a little bit of insurgency in Ostjek, which I don't actually know where in Croatia that would be. It's right here, okay. So they've got a little bit... Do not use chemical weapons on the state. I'm actually not too sure where that modifier is. But that, that's okay, we don't need to worry about it. Also, turn off fog of war because it looks like ass. There we go. So we're going to start off with our basic technologies. Um, I don't really know where on the tech tree we actually are. You're all 1950. I mean, 1950 is not that bad. I mean, technically ahead of time, but it's not super ahead of time. Give me factory output, docket output. Give me World War II computers. We can't do any of these quite yet. You're a little bit ahead of time. You have 1950 rifles. We could go for 9th. Actually, we need special forces for this first. Special operations. Paratroopers we have. Special forces out of combat supply. Marine special defense. And you know, I don't know if there's any of these things we really want right away. What about in tanks? Uh, let's let's get our way to light tank of the 47. That seems okay. Free civilian factories. We will build up some. Let's go for some office parts. Actually, no, no, no. Let's not go office parts. We want to go for industrial parts because these are basically being used for our civilian factories. Let's just build one of them right now in Sarajevo. Actually, no. We already have the best bonuses. Belgrade... And in Sisic. You know, let's build one in Zagreb. There we go. Build one in Zagreb. We also can actually build a second one. Okay, build a second one in Belgrade then. Three dockyards. We'll use that just to build up some convoys. Fighter ones are apparently outdated. Let's uh, go to... I guess we'll go for Generation Multiple Fighter. There we go. We have two military factories. We use enough for support equipment and infantry equipment. Seems reasonable. National Focus. Where do you want to start off with? Inform Bureau period. Yugoslavian Path of Socialism. The Reconstruction of Yugoslavia. Let's go, let's go for Reconstruction. To begin with here. And what modifiers do we have right now? We have Resource. Negative 20%. Okay. Those realism is getting a little bit of research speed. People's Communes is reducing our political power a little bit. We are having a drought, which is not great. We got decent spying, construction speed, the Tito Stalin split, giving us more recruited population. I mean, all that seems fine for the most part. Let's get our division together. We have 19. Tito will be all our field marshal. And I guess we'll put you guys. Well, the thing is, like, almost all of our neighbors are in the Warsaw Pact. Let's go for Albania first. I know Albania can't leave the Soviet sphere. Yeah, I mean, like, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and Albania are in the Soviet alliance. So we probably don't want to get into any wars with the Soviet Union for 
I would say fairly obvious reasons there. Also, we're not making... You have, like, no factories. What about you guys? Your basic infantry? Okay, I'll, I'll pump out, like, five of you for right now. Decisions available. We'll turn you off for now. Our influence is not that bad. Foreign policy... Nothing there quite, quite yet. Ignored you for now. Arms contracts, ignore this. You can spread Tito as we can intervene in the Greek Civil War. We declare a war directly on the Kingdom of Greece. We can immediately get ourselves involved in a war. Spread Tito as propaganda in Greece, Bulgaria, and Albania. We could proclaim the Balkan Federation. That might be an interesting way to go um, as time goes on here. A drafting list. Okay, we can ignore that. It's for the AI. And you're for the Crusaders. We need some political power for that. So we declare war on the Kingdom of Greece. Are they being guaranteed by anybody? No. So you know what? What if we just immediately intervene in the Greek Civil War? Just like day one get that done. Also, how are supplies looking? Macedonian supplies are not great, I would say. What do we need for this? They exist. The Greece is not in a faction with the Soviets. Yeah, let's just let's just intervene immediately. Yugoslavian intervention in Greece. The people of Greece and Yugoslavia were both early victims of acts of aggression and were abandoned by their leaders and allies. Through immense sacrifice, it was uh, the people left behind who freed themselves and only under the leadership of their communist parties. In Yugoslavia, the communists secured the position after the war. However, in Greece, the communist party finds itself battling reactionary Greeks. Then leave the Greek people are only existing because they are openly backed by the imperialist powers and are, use as, are using the service of Greek collaborators to the Nazis. The Senate Commanding in Belgrade recognized the situation and announced they will send Yugoslavian men, weapon, and support to the Greek communists to aid them in their struggle. The eventual victory will be a victory not just for the people of Greece, but for all the people in the Balkans fighting for revolution. Okay, so I mean, we'll just send these guys immediately down towards Athens. I mean, we'll see how well this goes. We have an air force. We have a small air force. Fly what we can over, um, Greece. What are you guys? You are, yeah, close to air support. You don't have enough range, unfortunately. Can I get military access through you? Thank you. What are you? You are Marxist Leninist. They want non-aggression pack. There we go. I'm hoping that we'll be able to kind of influence them at some point. If we get Greece on our side, I would be happy with it. Oh, so I guess we could theoretically also drop our combat line to look more like this. Because yeah, the capital obviously is Athens. That is going to have to be our kind of final objective here. Yeah, let's see if we can take Thessalonica. We can secure our way into Macedonia here. We'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, and you just don't have the range. So you just, just fly over here for right now. Looks like I have nowhere else to actually put you. And we are missing a lot of equipment. That's because we have, like, literally no military factory. So I'm not too sure what you want me to do there. Um... I mean, let's trade. Want the cost of trade. Is it really? It's not just $3, right? I'm guessing it's $0.3 million. So give me like 10 oil. So we'll see how that kind of affects things here. It has been a while since they actually have played the Cold War mod. Okay, the release in 1984. Yeah, let's capture all these areas. One of you march here and then there. Secure position for the communist. And then I'm sure they'll be very happy to join us. Give me superior firepower, please. 
can now have, we can now bomb the Crusaders. We need at least three divisions in Orsic. You need to research nerve agents. Okay, let's at least get three divisions then. In Orsic. I think it was like over here. We actually have, there's so many Greek forces over there. So get one of you up here, you stay behind. We have no oil, hopefully that's not going to be an issue for any of our forces. Yeah, we can push here again, we just want to take Athens. Reese already down to 83%, pretty decent. I mean, if, we, if these troops just stay over here, that'd be pretty good for us, I would have to imagine. Yeah, they can need what you want. You're just going straight to Athens. Yeah, it's also not this area. It's right here we needed to be in. Not delete that. Yeah, just go towards this city. And we'll see what we can get done there. Crusaders were raised by one. Currently, at 20% strength. Also, if you guys can like strategically redeploy, just go a little bit faster, please and thank you. Okay, because these guys are still kind of trapped behind enemy lines. We're closing in closer and closer towards Athens, even if we have no oil. I have no idea what's going on over here. <laughs> just a couple of white squares are just hanging out in Romania. Really, not much I can do about that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're actually here. Two options. I mean, bombing them actually is the best chance. Yeah, we bombed, we bombed them, and then we're going to raid them. There we go. We got a two for one there. I want you moving your way. Wait, is this all Athens? Oh, it is all Athens. Okay, so the map is slightly changed from the base game. But that's okay. We do see a Greek force that now landed over here. Athens is going to fall in a quick moment. And again, we do want to try to... We have 37% uh, support here. I think it's very, very politically power uh, heavy to take over all this land. Okay, so you're now at 35%. Don't know if we need to push our way down to here. Stalinization of the Korean People's Army. Not a big deal with what we're doing right now. And you catch 75 political power from the Yugoslavian path for socialism. I think that makes sense. Is that fucking, um, what's your name from Bioshock Infinite? It is, right? It absolutely is. I have no idea what's going on over there then. Hello, Finsk. Bring you guys down here. Corfu, I think, since they're an island, you can't actually walk to it. Unfortunately. And trees. Who wants trees? It's the free state right now. I think we should get trees afterwards. In, but I might also go to the Italians. I'm actually not 100 too sure. Do they have a core on it? They do. And apparently we don't. Wait, who wants trees in in today? Is it part of Slovenia or is it part of Italy? I don't actually know who, um... Who owns Triest? Italy owns it? Oh, okay. Why did, I, why did I think that it was part of, um, Slovenia? Okay, we won't take our army and navy experience because I think that might break the mod a little bit here. Mercenaries we don't concern ourselves with. Just turn mercenaries off entirely. I know I've never found them to actually be useful in in this mod. Yeah, but we need political power so we can one fight the crusaders. But I really want to make sure that we can um, 
try to influence these people as much as possible. Because how much does it cost for the influence? It's a hundred. We gain 100 influence points. I'm assuming that's okay, but I don't actually know 100%. Okay, march your way into here. Okay, they are last standing, so we're just going to immediately hold position. No reason to be attacking for no good reason. So they will not break. I mean, I guess you could theoretically whittle them down. But... I don't, I don't think we need to worry about that. I think we should be okay. So you are for the day focused. You'll be done in about 22 days from now. So let's let's take a look at our policies while we're in the meantime. So we got small education, we got federal agencies, which actually is pretty expensive, formal health care, basic services, social policies. We are regressive. We're moralist. Surprisingly, we're moralist. That's not really what I was expecting. Hello, uh Behaze. We got traditional women's rights. We have state unions, I'm assuming. None of these are actually green, so I don't know. State media, repressive. And a 25% tax rate. Is there anything else here? Basic military structure, nominal welfare spending. I wouldn't mind cutting down military uh, maintenance, because military is usually pretty expensive. We'll, we'll kind of see. I think, I think there's definitely things we can cut. I mean, we're, we're only making 0.6 billion right now. You watch this in class? Hell yeah. This, this is way more important than whatever it is that you could possibly be learning in, in class right now, so. Okay. Worldwide protest against the Bezin Sulfra plan, which is... Calls for a 15-year trustee of Libya. The Italian peace colonizers retain control. while well, the UK and France possess Cernacea and Fezzin, respectively. Britain and France has gone. Okay, so this great massive people around the world, especially in the Arab world, the United States, and the Soviet Union. And King Farrakh has gone to France. So what's going on in Olivia? France owns the South. Serenacia is part of the UK. That's okay. Yeah, it's, it's not really enough we need to worry about. We can increase women's rights. We had semi-traditional. I mean, monthly population, I don't think we care about at all. Become more secular. points on you two free industrial parks isn't bad the army tree i think we can basically completely ignore let's go for your 50 more political power 50 political power here literacy campaign workers councils more stuff you know what more stability would be nice let's empower the people's councils or yeah the people's committees Okay, but Greece, I think we take this city off Greece. That should be the end of it. We have 150 political power. Okay, after this, we're at 7% strength right now. I'm going to take the 50-50. Okay, we've immediately failed. Very cool. We're now up to 12%. Well, while we're here, let's do a little bit of uh, Titoist influence in Greece. Sounds good. Okay, the king of Greece is capitulated. Bring our troops home. And you might as well all be just hanging around in Croatia. Just for the time being. You don't like me very much. They're negative 10, negative 10 for a different ideology. The Patron Liberation Wars. It looks like they're going to... Are they becoming Maoist? I'm not too sure. If we, if we can get Greece to join our side, I think that would be for the best. Oh, shit. Arm contracts. Financial aid. We don't we don't need financial aid. I would like to cut down some of our spending. Especially for policing and intelligence. Most of this is kind of completely garbage. You don't need this. So I mean we could go from federal agency down to Metro Police. It would cut our spending in half. And it's like, oh no, your intelligence agency kind of sucks. Whatever. Like, who cares? Integrate Greece. You need 75 influence. 
Which honestly is not actually that bad. But I think normally you need, what, 90% to puppet them on, under base circumstances? Like, how much support for... Okay, they have like a trillion different ideologies. Apparently they even have some Islamism in there somehow. But, I mean, right now they're at 33. Apparently the IMF has the most influence there. Issue embargo, pay off debt. How much debt do you have? I have 18 billion dollars. I will pay off some of your debt. I have spent... 17 billion dollars, and I don't know if I got anything out of that. Okay, they like us a little bit more. That's only gonna last for 10 months. Okay, that was not worth it. Economic aid, just like war goal. They're immediately already in Greece's, or in uh, Russia's faction. But I don't think that really matters so much. Like, I, I might be wrong. If we don't get enough influence, we should be looking pretty good. In Albania, we have 13%. In Bulgaria, we have 0%. But if we can get all of them, just theoretically all of them influence highly enough, we can create a Balkan Federation. I'm sure that'll be very stable. Also, still running out of oil. We gain 48. Okay. The Republic of Greece, that's okay. Somehow, how are you...